Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas day nine. It is a gorgeous rainy day. I don't know if you guys can hear the pitter patter. My kids are watching on their pads for a little bit. Weekends are like their pad, pad days, but I don't know if you can hear the pitter patter. You can hear it so much more when you're in an RV and I love the sound of rain. I find it so soothing and relaxing, but let's make another cup of coffee together and get this vlog started. We made a little gingerbread houses this morning. The kids already ate theirs. This is my daughter and then mine, which kind of melted. I was trying to do like a door and a string of lights and I did already open today's coffee day number. Did I write four? I do it Instagram reels every day and I feel like I wrote day four. It's day five actually. And today's blend is actually really good. Where is it? I already took it out. It's called Holiday Cheer. And I feel like I really needed it today. It says a cup of cheer, literally. With each sip of this organic blend, you'll experience the warming flavors of a spiced apple berry tart with milk chocolate shavings on top. Lift this mug for a holiday toast and it'll lift your spirits in return. So I thought that was really cute and I feel like I really needed that this morning. So let's go ahead and make another cappuccino together. I usually weigh out 18 grams of beans for a double shot. My basket holds 18 grams. The one that I have, the bottomless portafilter. The one that comes stock with a gaja is a 14 gram basket. So depending on your basket, you'll be weighing out however many beans. And I do a one to two ratio usually. So for 18 grams in, you want about 36 grams out and then you kind of just tweak it to your taste from there going forward but kind of like start with a one to two ratio usually and then just go from there wherever i go i got you oh i have stopped running there is no way trying you better loosen your belts drinking hot wine by the fire yeah. don't care of anything All right, so I did about 40 grams in 25 seconds. So the grind size is probably a little bit too fine, but there are no real rules. I think the most, I mean, there are golden ratios and things like that, but the most important thing is how do you like it? But the golden ratio usually is like one to two ratio in 25 to 30 seconds. And this is a lighter medium roast, I would say, like a medium roast. So usually the longer the shot, the less acidic it's gonna taste because the acidic notes are in the beginning, the more bitter notes are towards the end. I feel like it's even more acidic right now. I don't know why. Moving on to milk. Let's attempt some latte art. I feel like lately I've just been way off my latte art game and it's been so bad. I don't know what it is. This one's not too good. We got like a little mini Rosetta ish situation. It's not, ooh, I almost spilled it. Yum. Let's actually make some breakfast. I usually have my morning coffee first. Like, I look forward to that every single morning, especially with the 12 days of coffee here. And then around anywhere from 11 to 1, I'll have like my first lately as of late before i used to be like hardcore breakfast first and then i'll have my coffee but i feel like i've just been really looking forward to my coffees lately because they make me happy so here we are um, but i've been really loving toast we have a ton of avocados to use up so i'm going to make some toast i got this bread at walmart i don't know i just thought it sounded really interesting i like seed seed breads i think they're really good and then I bought some microgreens. I saw some microgreens at Walmart. I've never tried them before. I always see them on people's avocado toasts and things like that, but I've never personally tried them myself. So we're gonna do that. I have an avocado that I already started. I'm gonna do some microgreens, and usually I'll fry up an egg. So maybe we'll do that, and then maybe a tomato on top. We don't have a toaster, so I'll either toast bread in the oven usually, or on this it and it works just fine we don't have a lot of room for appliances so I'm just trying to like make it work 
although my mom did give me a little mini waffle maker and I found the best waffle recipe ever. I'll see if I'll make it today or maybe tomorrow or in another Vlogmas, but it's literally the best waffle recipe ever. We do have a toaster, but we packed it away because I don't really have anywhere to store all these things. Like I had a KitchenAid mixer, all that stuff is in storage, like all of my big countertop kitchen appliances, but I made room for my coffee, <laughs> my espresso machine. And um, I told my husband that I want a, oh shoot, I do this all the time. This thing is like, every time I keep it too close to the flame and it, it's like burning. Shoot, what was I saying? Oh, I told my husband that I want a mini instant pot, like a three quart instant pot, an all-in-one, one that can basically do all the things for the RV and I will find a place for it. I'll just like leave it here on the counter because I feel like it's so great for so many things. I used it all the time when I was at my sister's house. You can um, do like pulled pork, chicken, mac and cheese, soups, stews, and it's quick. You don't have to wait like six hours for a roast or a stew. It is a three quart so it's smaller, but I feel like it'll be perfect for the RV. So I told him I want that for Christmas. Let's see if he delivers. I also told him I wanted um, some slippers, some house slippers, but I actually ended up buying some myself because I have, I do have house slippers. I have two pairs, but they are open toe. So I told him I wanted some of like a closed toe because my feet get so cold. Um, so I just found some on Amazon. They were like $15 or something. I think they're going to come in today. Some kind of love, my friend. I pray it will never end. Okay. Would you like to be here too? It's Christmas. Outside snow's glistening. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas with you. Such a charm. Got you the best part now. is the cutting it open. Nobody the yolk. The I love me a runny yolk. You said I wish this will never Yum. be. I did try the cottage cheese and boiled egg recipe with. I don't have chili crunch, so I just use like red pepper flakes. I bought chili crunch from Thrive Market. And I left it at my sister's house. I gotta buy some more. But oh my gosh, look at my cute little lunch. I feel like I'm at a, a little cafe. Go Tosh. But anyway, I did try the, it was cottage cheese. The original recipe was on a toast with avocado, I believe. And then it was like boiled egg smashed on top with the chili crisp with some hot honey, which I do have some hot honey. I just didn't have the chili crisp. And I didn't, I don't know, I just didn't really like the combo. It wasn't, I thought it would be so delicious because it sounds like something that I would love. I don't hate cottage cheese, but I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't loving it. Maybe if I tried it on toast with avocado, I feel like that would be better. Mm. Mm-hmm. This hits the spot for sure. I feel like I'm at a little cafe. I had a whole DIY beauty vlog filmed out yesterday, which was supposed to be Vlogmas Day 9. But today is Vlogmas Day 9. I did my eyebrows. I tinted my eyebrows. I did my lashes. These are the new Chiffon Lash Match from Lash Links. My battery died, so I had to go get a new battery. And then I grabbed some kombucha. My husband makes his own kombucha it's really good my favorite is like the ginger one but anyways i was saying i did a whole diy beauty vlog i did lashes tinted my brows did my nails these are press-ons from bt art box they're really really pretty like this design is so intricate for press-on nails that's the beautiful thing about press-ons is you get to try really intricate designs without putting in the work since it's already done for you and they look really natural and nice as well you can find it on their website they sent these to me it's not a paid collab or anything like that they just are kind enough to send me nail products here and there so these are ones that they sent me I did these I self tanned kind of went through that I edited the video got it uploaded rewatched it to make sure everything's fine and then I noticed at the end the whole end portion never uploaded to YouTube I don't know what happened there and then I started watching other people's YouTube videos and then I went back to mine and I was like I don't really like mine I wasn't really happy with the vlog I wasn't I was just being very critical of myself if I'm being honest and I feel like I have deleted so many videos because of my own thoughts I feel like we are our worst critics but for me I have these perfectionist tendencies where I feel like if it's not good enough for me not it's not like my videos are top-notch quality and 
the best but just in that moment some moments not every day just some moments when I have those moments I'm like if it's not good enough and then I start to compare then I'll just like scrap it all together and I've deleted so many videos and I need to work on that I need to get better because when you're waiting for the these good enough moments um, you're missing all these other opportunities and who knows maybe that video somebody will really like it and you know it'll resonate with them something you said something you did maybe it'll help somebody you never know so I need to just get better at stop stopping critiquing and over analyzing definitely like an overthinker for sure and then once I get to like critiquing my own video and then it just gets like I'll just delete it all together and I'm like no it, this is not gonna see the light of day so unfortunately that video did not see the light of day and it's not to say like this one is any better because I'm not showing you how I did the lashes how I did the nails I feel like that one would have been so much more helpful because social media is there to either entertain or to educate or sometimes both so I feel like that one would have been more beneficial but I just really was not happy with it or happy how I looked in it I was I was having a moment for sure and that's just something that I honestly is something that I struggle with especially putting yourself on YouTube I think that's the thing with doing content for social media is it's you that you are putting out like it's your stuff it's not like you're doing accounting or you're doing taxes or you're filing papers or you're working for a company this is you are putting yourself your name your image your likeness your thoughts out there I don't want to say this without it be taken the wrong way or over analyzed because I feel like I over analyze something I'll watch this back and I'll be like over analyzing everything I just said but the hard part of that is it's yourself that you're putting out there so when it doesn't do well and it doesn't perform well you can't really blame anyone but yourself and it's not like I'm sitting here blaming myself but you start thinking like okay well why didn't that one do well why wasn't like there's no rhyme or reason sometimes it's just the name of the game and that's just how social media works and I feel like I really it's something that I think a lot of people deal with as well is just to step back and to not tie your identity like my identity is not found in what I'm putting out there it is me it is me sharing parts of my day myself things that I like things that I do things that I want to teach people but my identity is not found in how that performs and how well it does like my identity is found in Christ and Christ alone and I know that like I fully know and believe that but just some moments some moments I feel like it's inevitable it's human nature some moments just get the best of you and you can't help but overanalyze and really critique yourself and that's for sure something that I struggle with big time to the point where I wanted to delete my YouTube channel so many times like my husband can tell you I wanted to delete it I'm like I don't know if I even belong in this space like I don't know if I'm trying to fit a square peg in a round hole type of situation I've been doing this for almost five years so you really start to like over analyze the numbers like I'm not here to be rich and famous that's not my end goal at all whatsoever because I feel like with being rich and famous comes with a lot of voices and more responsibility but you also want to be growing in whatever space you're in whether it's social media your personal life your job relationships you know you always want to be growing so when you're not really seeing too much growth you kind of sit back and think like okay what is it what can I do is it me maybe I don't belong on here maybe I need to take a break and reanalyze everything and maybe I should be doing something else and this is not it I don't know but I did do want to say that I'm super 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 appreciative of those of you that do watch my videos and comment I love even though I am a huge <laughs> introvert I love talking to people on my Instagram DMs and writing back to comments you guys are just so kind overly kind I mean like overly kind I'm always like so grateful for your kindness because kindness goes a long way you never know like how your kind words that you say might affect someone that day so I'm really thankful for that so genuinely from the bottom of my heart thank you so much um, but yeah just like some things that I am think constantly thinking of now that I'm like getting to five years on YouTube like last night I was during the night time is when my thoughts like run rampant I'm like having conversations with myself 
sometimes I'll be like talking to God, just like, you know, those conversations. One of the main things that people will tell you with social media is to find a niche, something that you can like zero in on, whether it's like, let's say you're really good at building or remodeling um, Victorian homes. Like that's really, you're not just remodeling, you're not just houses, this is like Victorian homes, it's very specific, or like old school cars. For me, I feel like it's so broad that I've tried a few different things. Like I have vlogs here and there um, sharing things because I do think our life, it's a little bit unorthodox for most people. Like we're a family of five living in an RV, sold our home, traveled a bit, bought some land. We're going to be building our house. I feel like it's sort of interesting to share, but at the same time, I'm not sharing as much as I wish I was because again, I'm always over analyzing my content and I'll just delete it and won't share it. I love sharing about hair because fine thin hair, it's very specific and it's something that I've dealt with my entire life so I know the struggles of having fine thin hair and I know how it can be a downer when you know, you're know you not having a good hair day and you're not happy with your hair and all of that and then I dove into DIY lashes and I feel like that was a big part of my YouTube channel. I started off with Lashify and then along came Lilac Street and so many other brands at this point but now you have like TikTok and Instagram and there are so many quick form contents that you can watch. It's like why would you sit and watch a 10 minute video of somebody doing their lashes when you can just get like get everything that you need in like under a minute. So I don't know. <laughs> I do have these thoughts from like trying to figure it out like what do I do how can I grow how can I help people how can I what can I share that might help people um, I don't know so I'm just doing vlogmas and I'm going going through the thoughts so today's vlogmas is kind of just you guys going through the thoughts with me just sharing what's generally on my mind not every season has to be something great or something wonderful sometimes it's the quiet moments that are the most meaningful I guess right I'm just taking it day by day, I guess. I'm definitely in a... We say tupik in a Russian. How do you translate that? Fork in the road, I think it's called. Deadlock? Deadlock. I wouldn't say that's like the definition that I was... The word that I was going for. A standstill resulting from the opposition of two unrelenting forces or factions. Kind of. A failure or inability to proceed due to two programs or devices both requiring a response from the other before completing an operation. I guess kind of. You're just, you're kind of like, do I go here? Do I go here? Do I stop YouTube? Do I, I don't know. But on to a brighter note and a much more cheerful note. This is why I said I really needed this cup of cheer in today's Vlogmas vlog. The rain looks like it stopped. Just kidding. It's still raining. I was gonna do a garland for the arched mirror that I have in the bedroom. My husband brought some pine needles from the land and I wanna make my own garland. I made one in our previous home. I think it was the first Vlogmas I ever did. I'll have to check, but that garland turned out so nice. So I love making my own garland with fresh like pine or anything like that. I just gotta buy some floral wire at the dollar store and then maybe let it dry out because right now it's all wet and it's going to be super messy but I want to make a like an arched garland over the mirror I feel like that would be really pretty and that's the last thing that I want to do in terms of holiday decor maybe I'll do like a small one and put it over there and then maybe do like a little mini house tour but I might save that for like tomorrow or the day after because the pine is all wet and nasty and we don't really have much planned for today's vlogmas but if anything interesting happens or anything that i want to share about i guess i'll pick up the camera look at little chi chi chai over there living her best life always with those cat naps like i always say to be a cat but i was just editing the footage that i already had and it is it's pretty long like it's already 18 19 minutes long basically so i don't think i'm gonna add to it i actually think i'm gonna finish this vlogmas here and then i have like these two pimple patches here by the way because i have a bad habit of picking at my face and pimple patches are like the only thing that stop me from picking at my face but i think i'll do and start a new vlogmas tonight and wrap the christmas presents when the kids go to bed that way i can knock out two vlogmases in one day since i scrapped yesterday's vlogmas but just wanted to share some honest thoughts with you guys. It's just 
you know, sometimes you have these moments and I love when people are transparent with how they're feeling because I feel like it makes you feel less alone and it's just more relatable. So I just wanted to share that in today's Vlogmas. But don't worry about me, I am fine. It's just, I do go through these thoughts and these are just some things that I am thinking and just wanted to share. But I hope you guys, um, I don't know, resonated with that. Maybe also found it relatable in a way or anything. Again, thank you guys so much for your kindness. I really appreciate it. It means a lot and it's still raining so i'm gonna enjoy the sounds of this beautiful rain and sit here and finish up the video to have it up today thank you so much for hanging out i feel like i'm always hanging out with friends when i'm filming my camera because i know that there are great people watching behind it so thank you and i really hope to see you guys in the next vlog bye it's just you and me tonight it's just you and me tonight i'll spend all this christmas with you